Hello everyone and welcome to Microsoft Excel. Uh, today we will uh, take a look at the first Excel lab which is lab Excel lab number one. So to get started you need Excel lab uh, one instructions. Uh, please go ahead and open it. I will go ahead and do the same thing. Uh, items covered in this lab. Uh, if you look here you will notice that uh, we will uh, look at on how to create a blank workbook, save a workbook, modify an Excel spreadsheet, also how to enter text values in Excel cells, merge and center text, apply styles, and create basic uh, formulas. So to get started with this lab, you need to uh, uh, look at the instructions section. It says here the first item, create a blank workbook. So you will go to the metro view here and then type excel or if you are using windows 7 you click on the start button and then go to all programs and then uh, microsoft office and then choose excel or you can uh, click on the start and then type excel and it should uh, show up in the list of uh, applications that you have i have the same thing here i will go ahead and open excel And look in here, I need to open a blank Excel sheet. I will position it to the left side as usual. And it says here, uh, please go ahead and save this file as Excel Lab 1, right? In the Microsoft Excel Labs folder. I assume that you already know how to create this folder inside the Documents folder. We already covered that in the file management uh, lecture. So I will go ahead and click on File and then click on Save As. Look at the default location here. When I try to save my file it saves it by default to the SkyDrive someone will say I would like to uh, make my default location is my local computer you can actually control that if you go to options and then click on save uh, look here save to computer by default and then click OK now if I go to here and then click on save as, look at the difference here, computer is uh, selected by default. I need to choose Microsoft uh, uh, Excel uh, Labs and I need to save it as Excel Lab uh, Lab 1. Alright, I already uh, finished this uh, solution before, that's why you see the name of the uh, file, but I expect you to type here Excel Lab uh, 1. Right, uh, because I already have this file, I will just uh, you don't have to, to do this step. I will add uh, an extra one, but if in your scenario you just type Excel Lab 1, and that is the name of the file I need you to create. So let's go ahead and look at uh, what we have here. It says type working with uh, Excel Math in Excel A1. So I will go ahead and type here working uh, with. Excel math uh, in cell 1 and then merge and center the text in cell A1 to the range A to E1 so I will select the range here from A to E1 and then I will click on merge and center alright now apply the title style to the range A to E1 so I already have it selected I will go to cell styles and then I will choose uh, title perfect now, it says here, uh, apply the title, already finished, type addition in cell A2. So I will go to A2 and then type, uh, I will type addition and then press enter. And then uh, subtraction in cell A3 and then press enter. Right, and then in cell uh, A4, multiplication, and in cell A5, type division. Right, it says here auto fit the contents in column A. Look at column A here when I type the text, multiplication is overlapping to the to column B, and I need to uh, fix that. How do you fix that? You go to, do you see the line that separates column A from column B? You go to that line, hover the mouse on top of it, and then double click on it. That will auto fit the content of column uh, A. And to do the same thing for column B, you go to the separator between B and C and so on. If you'd like to auto fit all contents, you select the entire sheet from this button here. 
and then double click on any line separator between any uh, column or any uh, row and that will auto fade the contents but that's not what we are trying to do now all right it says here insert a row above row number two so to insert a row above row number two you select row number two and then right click on top of it and then click on insert look what happened I already have a row immediately above it perfect that was easy or if you select this one here and then go to the let me maximize the window so you can see here all of the uh, options I have I, if I go to uh, uh, insert here you can uh, insert if I go to home and then go to uh, insert you can insert do you see here it's under home so uh, you go to home tab and then click on insert and then insert either cells or you can insert sheet rows all right or you can insert uh, sheet but it was easy enough for us to right click make sure that the row is highlighted right click on the number of the of the row and then choose insert that that that's an easy way instead of going i'm so glad this is happening instead of just going and looking in each tab where do i find the insert and then go to insert here so it's a lot easier to just right click on the number of the row and choose insert and you have seen that live in this uh, recording so going back here it says type basic math in cell a2 so you will go to cell a2 and then type basic uh, math all right and then press enter all right what is next merge and center the text in cell a2 to the range a2 to e2 so you need to highlight this range and then choose merge and center all right apply heading 4 to the range a2 so while it is selected you go to uh, cell styles and then choose heading 4 perfect perfect we are moving very well so apply the calculation style to the range a3 to uh, a6 so you go to select this range and then go to cell style and then choose calculation uh, type so you go to cell b3 which is this cell here and then type equals 4 plus you can leave one second let me do that here you can leave a space after the equal sign so now before we continue here and just copying uh, the formulas from the instructions to the solution any formula in excel or a function you will need to start by equal sign so please everyone remember to do that in the future if you'd like to start a formula or a function you need to start with the equal sign All right and then four plus plus what plus six divided by two and then press enter and then it says uh oh i got the result here so if i click on the actual cell b3 i have the result but if i look at the formula bar on top here this is called the formula bar what do i see i see the actual formula so please everyone keep in mind that when you work with formulas in excel so again here it says in cell b3 then type equals the same formula but you will put princes surrounding 4 plus 6 in cell d3 so where is d this is d column and then you look at the intersection between d and 3 and then let me uh, copy this formula from here control c and then i will take it go to d3 and then uh, control v uh, actually let me let me undo that uh, for some reason okay well how do i recover from this scenario you just press escape escape 
so escape if you are in editing mode will take you out of uh, any issues that you might encounter with Excel so now again you go to cell D3 let's do it step by step and read the instructions here let me scroll down here so you can see exactly what I am looking at so you go to cell D3 and then type equals and then you type the same exact formula 4 plus 6 divided by divided by 2 okay this is the same exact formula that we had in cell B3 but in this scenario I'm asking you to add princes around 4 plus 6 why because I need the addition to happen first I need the addition to happen first and then I divide it by 2 so when I press enter here look at the result the result here is 5 and look at the formula but the result here is okay escape again if you get any issue you press escape and that will uh, uh, disable the editing and will take you to the selection mode so again if I am in cell B3 and then look at the formula bar on top what happens first the multiplication or the division sorry what happens first the division or the addition so now someone will uh, wonder how would I know how would I know in this solution file here I gave you the order of operation so if you look here if you have princes the princes will happen first and then exponents and then multiplication and then division and then addition and then subtraction so looking at this order of operation here and looking at this formula which one will happen first the division or the addition yes you are right the division will happen first so 6 divided by 2 will give you 3 add that to 4 that will give you 7 that's why when you press enter you get 7 but when I look at this one here now I have in the formula bar I have 4 plus 6 divided by 2 based on this table here in the solution file which will happen first okay you know that the division have been, happens before the addition but I have princes around the addition which gives the addition a higher priority because in the order of operation the princes happen first so 4 plus 6 will happen first which is 10 divided by 2 that will give you 5 I hope you understand why it is very important uh, to have this uh, scenario here so going to the uh, instructions again and uh, moving up it says here in cell B4 so I need to go to B4 and then equals 6 minus uh, 6 minus 6 let me take a space if you leave a, if you leave a space that's better but if you don't leave a space uh, Excel will uh, give you the exact uh, calculation so space and then uh, I need to multiply now by 2 so 6 minus 6 multiplied by 2 which which happens first look at the order of operation in the solution here in the solution I gave you the order of operation so looking at the order of operation here multiplication will happen first so 6 multiplied by 2 will give you 12 minus 6 that will give you minus 6 as you see it as you see it here again so 2 multiplied by 6 will give you 12 and I have a minus sign before 12 so 6 minus 12 that will give you minus uh, 6 alright everyone 
So now let's uh, use the princes in this scenario here. So going back to the instructions, I will use the same exact uh, formula. And then I will type equals 6 minus, again, equals, and then space, 6 minus 6. And then I need to divide that, or I need to multiply that by, by 2. So looking at this scenario here. The title of this row is subtraction. So I need subtraction to happen first. So to do that, I need to put princes around 6 minus 6. Are we good? So 6 minus 6 will give me 0. All right, multiply it by 2, that will give me, yes, you're right, 0. Very good. So now, let me here add the princes in the instructions. So now it's clear to you the difference, all right? So now let's go to the next one, which is... Uh, cell B5. In cell B5, please go ahead and type equals 2 multiplied by 2 plus 6. Then press enter. So let's read here. 2 multiplied by 2 equals 4. And then add that to 6 will give you will give you 10. So now let's change that and go to cell D. 5 and then type the same exact formula but I need to put parentheses around the multiplication and see if this is going to make any difference the multiplication happens first anyway so I will go ahead and uh, put equals and then open close parentheses all right and between the parentheses I will put what between the parentheses here I will put 2 multiplied by 2 all right, and then I will add number six. Then I will press enter. So adding the parentheses will not make any difference in these scenarios. In this scenario, why? Because the multiplication happens first anyway. So this is just to make sure that I am uh, organized. But it doesn't have any effect, and you have a proof here. So going back to cell B six. In cell B6, I need you to type equals space 9 divided by 3 Okay, again, let me, I'm so glad this happened uh, At any scenario, if you need to edit a cell, you can double click on the cell Or, if you press escape, I will go back to the selection mode I can press F2, and that will edit the cell so I need to leave a space before the division, simple, 9 divided by 3, and then I will add 4. So which one will happen first? The division. If you don't know which one happened first, look in the solution. At the very bottom, you will see the order of operation. And then, so 9 divided by 3 equals, yes, you are right. And then you add that to 4, that will give you 7, all right? So 9 divided by 3 gives you 3, and then add 3 to 4, that will give you 7. So again, I will go back here in cell D6, and then I will type the same exact formula, 9 divided by 3, and then I will add, I will add what? I will add uh, 4, but in this scenario, I'm going to put princes or surround 9 divided by 3 by princes, but this is not going to make any difference. Why? Because the division happen, uh, happens first. Okay, now, if I press Control 
delta key on the keyboard that will show me all of the formulas I have inside my Excel sheet. If I press control, keep holding control and then press the delta key on the keyboard, that will uh, take me back. That's why in the solution here, I expect you to press, but I am uh, actually looking for only one thing, which is the one in the middle. If you press control delta, that's for yourself. The last one in the solution here, this table is for your reference, but this is the only thing I expect you to have in your solution. And when I get your solution, I will make sure to verify that you have all of these formulas when I press control delta. So don't just type the numbers. That's why I'm showing you here. This is a sample uh, solution. Uh, all right, everyone, this is the end of this lab. So after you finish, you need to submit that uh, to Blackboard. And thank you for uh, watching, and I'll see you in the future.